Well, good morning, everybody. It's day three of our Normandy tour, and uh, we had an amazing time with all of our French friends last night on Utah Beach. Just an incredible time, and all the food was incredible. Uh, today we've got another adventure, so we're going to be branching out, uh, visiting a few villages and a few historical sites today. So with that being said, let's get started. Here we go. Again, with a wonderful French breakfast full of fresh croissants there from Normandy. It was quite, quite the experience. And then, of course, we would go to the next room and have the order of the day where we would actually talk about the plan of attack for the day, uh, our schedule, the logistics, and so forth. I would actually make this out in World War II fashion on the uh, order of the day, would give everyone a copy, and then we would sit down and discuss it. And then, of course, after that, it was jump-off time, 9.45. We were on the road and uh, heading toward our first objective, which would be the town of Caraton. Okay, everyone, we're getting ready to go into the D-Day experience. We're at a place called Dead Man's Corner. It's a very, very famous intersection in World War II, very close to the little village of Caraton. And so um, it's a really, really neat museum as a theater there and they have a simulator that gives you the idea of what it was to be like uh, riding in a C-47 as, as a paratrooper on D-Day. Let's go check it out. Lots of wonderful artifacts that this particular museum had on display, both German and the Allied side. It was quite extensive. Um, some interesting things. For example, here's a couple of German paratrooper helmets. They had uh, German weaponry like the stick grenades, the potato mashers. And here is General Ridgeway's jump boots. Pretty amazing. The entire place was well put together. The presentation that we felt like was quite historically accurate. And uh, we just had a great time viewing all the different displays that they had. And of course, you have to have some time to take a selfie with Lily. After that, uh, 1300 hours, we found a wonderful French cafe that was close by and, and treated ourselves and enjoyed some lunch before our next assignment. Back on the road. And uh, we're headed now to our next objective. Everything, of course, is, is fairly close together, so it doesn't take a long time uh, to travel. And so uh, you get to see a lot of the French countryside as you go along uh, there in the van. Pretty amazing. And here we are now at the D-Day objective, 1500 hours of the water locks just north of the city of Caraton. As a matter of fact, this is a place where uh, Sonny Hall, who was part of the 501st 
Parachute Regiment of the 101st Division was actually killed in his parachute not too far from this place. The Germans actually used this river to flood the fields as an added protection and defense mechanism because they knew perhaps paratroopers would arrive here. So we simply took in the sights. Okay, we're in now um, a little village called saint mer du -Mont. very famous for the 101st paratroopers that uh, assembled here. So we're going to check that out and see what we can find. This is a wonderful experience that we call ghost photoing. And it's simply part of our mission to where we assign a photograph to each member of the tour and they have to find the exact historical spot where these photographs were taken. It's quite wonderful. It's really a kind of a scavenger hunt on steroids, if you will. And uh, so they took the afternoon to do that. And then after uh, exploring the town there, we got back in the van and then we headed over to the Dick Winters Memorial, which was very close to a place called Braycourt Manor, which was not the original objective of Dick Winters, but became his objective after he was uh, dropped and missed his drop zone. So here we are paying uh, uh, homage to Dick Winters and his unit near Braycourt Manor. We took a picture to seal the memory of the moment. And then of course after that, it was back to the chateau, which welcomed us back home for another restful night.